This is an empty synth channel. Until a plugin is loaded into the empty box, all the parameters on this channel will remain disabled. Each channel has four assignable parameters, which will not function until properly assigned. The two mix effect knobs right next to the assignable parameters become active when mix effect 1 and or 2 are set to send mode. We'll go over this later in the video. On the right side of the synth channel, you have your volume control, dB meter, CPU meter, and the synth MIDI settings button, which will open a new window allowing you to assign MIDI specific parameters. The keyboard below the assignable parameters will highlight blue when an instrument is loaded. This is the range of notes that the instrument is assigned to play on. You can filter out notes by clicking and dragging either end of the blue highlight. You can solo a synth channel by clicking the synth box, which will highlight blue when soloed. Last, there is the preset button, which will open up a window allowing you to search plugins for receptor presets, including a specific plugin or sound. Now let's load a preset by clicking the preset button. In this window, you can filter your search to specific plugins and sounds. These presets are the receptor factory preset, which means not all plugins will have a preset in this list. I'm going to load an alchemy player preset. As you can see, the assignable parameters have already been pre-assigned. If I move a knob, I can see the plugin react in real time to the parameter changes. Because I've loaded an instrument, the keyboard is highlighted in the synth channel. This means I can filter out the notes I do not wish the instrument to play. This can come in hand when creating layered multis in which you might want a bass in the low end, but not in the high end. Now let's look at a plugin that doesn't have any pre-assigned parameters. I'm going to use Native Instruments Massive. I'm going to assign some parameters to the filter, resonant, and master volume control. First, click on the picture of the plugin to open and view it. I've made a simple saw tooth to demonstrate yeah. today. To assign the parameter of the filter, first click Setup in the top left of the plugin, and then MIDI Learn. Here, to assign a new parameter, click on New. It'll automatically assign the last touch parameter, which was the filter. To assign it to an assignable parameter, under Assign 2, select the parameter 1 through 4. Now I'm going to set the filter resonance, and then I'm going to set the master volume to parameter 4 after this. Once you have finished assigning the parameters, hit OK. I'm going to exit out of the synth, and then I'm going to look at my synth channel. The parameters that I have assigned are now represented on the channel. I'm going to adjust them in real time and hear them react accordingly. By default, the mix effects on a synth channel are disabled. That isn't because they aren't active, it's because Mix Effect 1 and 2 are currently in Insert Mode. In Insert Mode, Mix Effect 1 and 2 are applying to all of the synth channels. Adjusting the dry and wet of a mix effect adjusts it for all of the synth channels. Though I only have one instrument right now, if I want to use a mix effect only on one instrument, I need to set it to send. When a mix effect is set to send, the mix effects on the synth channel become active and I can adjust them accordingly. Mm -hmm. 